okay so um, I'll show you uh, how to auto reference your work all right okay so auto referencing actually helps um, uh, actually helps you to organize your references all right it helps you to select different type of uh, referencing styles and also at the at the end of your document uh, probably like this let me show you you can have all your referencing uh, your references alphabetically arranged in alphabetical order okay so that is what it does and you can also use that reference again okay so you can use uh, when you reference a paragraph or a line or a sentence in any work you're doing okay you can also also use that reference again all right you can use it more than three times you can use it more than four times so that is what it does so i'm going to show you how to reference auto reference with different styles okay so you can you know you have different kind of sources all right your sources can come from uh, journal articles it can come from a website it can come from a conference uh, proceedings it can come from uh, uh, what again it can come from a report okay so I'm going to show you how to auto reference so I'm gonna pick this okay so I'm gonna pick this and show you so the first thing I'm going to do is to look for the the reference the reference the full reference of this okay let me just for example let me just cite for example policy nigeria okay international journal of uh, politics okay this is actually not true but it's just an example okay all right okay so let's say this is the, the full reference i'm gonna copy it i'm gonna take it to the exact uh, place i'm trying to auto reference all right i'll copy it under here okay so what i'll do so you can see you have references here so this is where i'm going to do where i'm going to go okay so you click on your references and you can see you have insert citation here you have many sources you have style of referencing you have bibliography okay so i'm going to click on insert citation so you're going to click on add new source because you are trying to add a new source you're trying to reference that paragraph okay now this is an article let's assume it is a journal article okay so you can see here you have a book a book section journal articles jo article in a periodical different kind of sources so yours is just to select where are you getting your source from this paper that you're doing or this referencing or this particular reference where did you get it from so i'm going to select journal article all right so now there's a trick now if you click on show all fields you can see so many things informations that you can fill up if your reference has all this information um, you can fill it up but i will uh, sometimes i do advise that once you have the author's name the title the journal name the year of uh, publication probably the month and the day then the pages of the article then let me see probably the volume and the issue then um, the url yes if you have the url link or the doi all right then you can you can also add all those informations too okay so so to avoid so i'm going to teach you a trick so to avoid to be uh to him to start imputing uh, all these one after the other so i'm going to copy because i've already copied the whole reference 
just paste it on your title okay you can, you can, so you can see everything here now you now begin to cut so i'm going to go first on the names these are the names i'm going to cut it Control x okay so i'm going to go to the auto edit then paste everything here okay so the first name laura all right will be the last name here then you have the second name which of the second of the first auto okay so i'm gonna cut this out so i'm gonna do this one i'm gonna press add or you press enter okay so for the second name i'm gonna do the same thing so you have ak then you have a all right so i'm gonna cut this out for the third okay can you see so this is patrick j army okay so you press okay then you press your hockey all right so you can see automatically it has been filled up you have the authors already and so the next thing is the journal name what is the journal name is here international journal of politics so you have to cut it out you paste okay good then the city all right you don't have the city here there's no information now the year this is 1995 Okay. Then this is the title Foreign Policy in Nigeria. Okay. So you don't have any other information. Had it been we had of other information? Let me just add a uh, month, maybe May. Second of May. Okay. So if I have other information like pages, you can write page uh, 123 to uh, what okay okay so all information has been filled like i told you if this source is coming from a website you click a website all right you click a website and if it is coming from a report you do the same thing likewise others okay so i'm gonna click okay here all right so can you see so i'm going to delete this because this is not auto referenced this is not auto referenced all right so so now the style of the reference now which is another thing that is very important so you have the upper style which is the uh the normal uh, academic writing style so our automatically our this thing the referencing style is on upper all right you can see so so i'm gonna delete this so you can choose different type of uh, referencing styles anyone you want so if i change this to uh let's say the normal uh when you want to publish your paper and you see this kind of referencing a high e e e okay can you see so you see this kind of references so when i return it back to so you have different type of uh, referencing styles and it depends on uh, which one you've been asked to use by your professor or your supervisor your project supervisor okay so you can you can also edit this referencing if you want to edit it you can go to here you click on your edit source and if you uh, edit anything you add any information or delete anything you can press ok back so automatically so at the end of your uh, your whatever after you virtually um, okay so let me add another one So I'm going to add another reference.
okay so i'm gonna add another let's say this is coming from uh, a website okay let's say this is coming from a website so let me get okay let me copy this link okay so i just copied the url okay so i'm gonna paste so the auto let me see um kennedy homes okay i'm gonna press okay so let's say this is uh 2024 a web page the name of the web page all right okay let's say this is um policy in africa now the name of the website okay is um let me say okay let me say this is coming from uh, imf international monetary fund okay so once i click okay all right so if i want to use that reference which i just did now i can just click here and go and insert it can you see so automatically it's it fills up the the references for you all right okay so let me just uh let me leave it let me leave it there so like i said if i'm trying to uh, now get the references i want to show all these references i want it to come up all right at the end of my document okay so you go to your bibliography okay so you go to your bibliography then you go to you choose any of this okay so can you see so i can now edit uh, my documents I can change the font style okay 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 so can you see automatically it is it has uh, arranged these references uh, auto uh, alphabetically in alphabetical order so you can see K comes before hell right so that is how to to auto reference your your work your research papers your assignments your assessments and whatever so thank you very much make sure you subscribe to my youtube video thank you very much